Okay, we're ready to begin uh, using PowerPoint to create interactive instructional templates. But before we can really begin, we have some housekeeping to do. When you open PowerPoint, as shown here on this screen, uh, there is a set of tabs across the top. This is, this is called the ribbon. And uh, these tabs, when you click on them, have all kinds of extra things that you can do, which we'll use. But it's confusing to have all of these tabs up there. PowerPoint has so many different functions and so many different commands that it really is a bit confusing. So the first thing we want to do is to select only those commands that we really want to use right now. And we'll indicate what those are as we move along. But for right now, we're going to right click on the home. And you'll see here that we can customize the ribbon. So we're going to say, let's customize the ribbon. And now you're going to see that over here we have a whole bunch. Uh, let's see if I can show them all to you here. A whole bunch of different commands that we can use. Uh, and we're going to just select some of those. Let me see if I can shrink that down a little and show them all here. Uh, in this window. Uh, so now here's the commands. You can see we can scroll down and see. So we really only want to select those that we actually want to use from this customized ribbon. So the ones we're going to use initially are the Home tab. We want to make sure that's checked. We also want the Insert tab. We want that checked. And we want the Design tab. But we don't need anything else. We don't need to worry about how we're going to do it as a slideshow. We don't need the view menu for now. Uh, we come down here. We don't need the slide master menu. There's lots of things, as you can see, that we can do here. We don't need the home master. And so basically, all we need is three these three uh, basic tabs, home, insert, and design. There's a lot of things underneath those we'll use. OK, so we're having selected those. We're going to say OK. And now when we go back here, uh, they should appear here. So we have Home, Insert, Designed. Did we not turn off animations? Let's go see if we turned off animations. OK, let's go here again. Right click on the Home tab. Come down to Customize the Ribbon. And I don't believe that we, oh, right there. Animations, we didn't turn those off. So let's turn off Animations. And we'll go back here now and say OK. So now we should have Home, Insert, Design, and we have, now we have the Home, Insert, and Design tabs up here. When we click on each of those, we get bunches of other commands here. These are the things we can do under the Home tab. These are the things we can do under the Insert tab. We'll use some of those. These are the things we can do under the Design tab. Now we could turn off some of these as well, but for now, we'll just leave them all there and select the ones that we need. OK, so now we've done our basic housekeeping. Uh, we have, uh, we've selected only three tabs that we need to use, three basic big functions that we need to use. And we'll use those now to, to create what we want to do. Now that we have uh, customized our tabs so that we only have only those commands we want to use at this point in time, we'll move to the first step. When you open PowerPoint, uh, as I did with this version here, you'll see that we get uh, a template that's built in already pops up. This is a built in layout, a built in template in PowerPoint for adding a title. But I don't necessarily want to use this particular uh, template. So I'm going to go up here to the home menu. I'm going to click on the home menu. And then I'm going to see a thing called slides, a group called slides. I'm going to click on that. And here I'll see a thing called layout. I'm going to cl click on layout. And that's going to give me a bunch of options that are here. For now, I just want a completely blank screen. So I'm going to choose this layout down here. And we're going to have a completely blank screen. So that's the first thing that we want to do. The second thing we want to do is the background is a little bit boring if we just have white slides and just put black on it. At this point in time, we can really design the appearance of our presentation that we're going to make or the, or the template that we're going to build. Uh, and later, we'll talk a little bit about how to do this in a more effective way. But right now, I'm just going to keep it really simple. I'm going to go to the Design tab. I'm going to go down here to Customize. And I'm going to see here that uh, there's two things I can do. I can format the background, and I can set the slide size. If you'll notice here, in this particular uh, 
when we opened it, it's a large rectangular slide. That's for big screens, and not everybody will have a big screen. So I think what we're going to first do is go into Design. We're going to go to Customize, and we're going to set the slide. And I'm going to set it to a standard size, which is a 4 to 3 ratio. So I'm going to set that, and now you'll notice it squared this up. It's no longer rectangle. It's now more squarish. It's still a rectangle, but more squarish than it isn't so, so elongated. All right, now once I have the standard size that I want, then I, I want to change the design a little bit in terms of getting rid of this white background because uh, black on white is difficult to read and so we want a little more color in it. Now we could do a lot of things here and as you'll see here. Uh, I'm just going to go in here to customize. I'm going to say format the background and you'll notice here that we have all kinds of things that we can do. Uh, and so I'm going to keep it really simple. I'm just going to say I want, I don't want a solid fill. We could go here, a solid fill and what we would get then is just all kinds of colors and here's all these colors that we get. But I'm going to go to a gradient fill here and I'm going to say I want to go to a preset gradient. So I'm going to come down and again uh, some colors pop up. Now you can see the colors so that they show up on the on the screen a little bit. I'm just going to select one of these grays. I think this gray here is, is use that as our field. So we're going to go there and we're going to say okay we're going to, to apply it to all in, in our screen and so we apply to all. Alright so now when we come back here to our editing screen and we say okay apply this to, to all of them here and there we have a nice gray slide little uh, light on it so it's a little prettier than, than ordinary. And now there's all kinds of other things you can do with design. Uh, there's all kinds of themes. You can select all kinds of different color schemes. Uh, we'll talk about those later for not for right now. There's all kinds of variants you can use and these variants include all kinds of different things like uh, different colors, different fonts, different kinds of effects, different background styles. But we're not going to play with those right now. We'll save those for a later time. PowerPoint has a built-in function that when you click on the slide it will automatically go to the next slide in the presentation. But we don't want to do that. We want to make sure that we can control what the student does on the screen. So we don't want them to just click on the screen and have it skip to the next slide. We maybe want them to do other things on the screen. So we'll put a button on or some other function on that tells the student how to go to the next screen when we're ready for them to do that. So in order to do that, we have to do one of two things. We have to turn off that ability to go to the next slide. There's two ways I can do that. And I note now that I'm missing something. So I got to go back to the home slide, right click on it again. And I got to customize a ribbon because I need another command. One of those commands is transitions. I'm going to click on transmissions, transitions, and then I'm going to say okay. Uh, I'm going to say okay with that. And now that it's added another tab up here, and when I click on transitions, it gives me this idea that says uh, the advanced slide on mouse click. That's clicked because that's what's the default. But I don't want it to advance, so I'm just going to turn that off. And when I turn that off, now it will not go to the next slide. There is a second way that we could do this uh, and that requires another command on the on the uh, home page. So let's go up here and again customize the ribbon and in this case I need to go to the uh, slideshow. So I'm going to click on slideshow and I'm going to go back and when I and now I have slideshow. So the other way I could do this is to go in here. I can say I want to set up the slideshow and under set up the slideshow here, a lot of things, I can present it by the speaker full screen, I can browse to the kiosk full screen, and that's the one I want is browse to the kiosk because when I do that, that automatically turns off the advance on mouse click. And so then, uh, then only those things I put on the screen will interact with the student. So those are the two ways that we can turn that off. Okay, in summary, what we've learned to do is the first thing we've learned to do is to select from the uh, ribbon uh, those tabs that we want for the particular functions that we want to use. Uh, we started out with just home, insert, and design, but then we realized we needed either transitions or slideshow to set it to kiosk mode in, in our setup. Uh, the next thing we did was to create a blank screen. We did that from the home menu where we went in and selected a layout that was blank. Uh, we determined the slide size. We did that from the design tab 
where we went in and selected the three to four ratio as the standard slide size, so it's not necessary for have the, for the user to have a wide screen. Uh, then we went in and changed the background, and instead of a white background, we just selected a simple gray, and we learned that later we can do all kinds of things on the background, all kinds of colors, all kinds of design, all kinds of logos, whatever uh, is necessary as in the templates that you're creating for a particular client. And finally, we turned off the advance on mouse click function, uh, either in transitions or in slideshow by setting it to kiosk mode. So now we have finished the setting up the appearance of our of our template, and we've uh, done some of these the housekeeping functions to make uh, PowerPoint operate the way we want.